would the appeals by the students compel the striking bodies to come back to the classroom and assume full official duties? The local CITAC ref for the Table College of Education has this to say. The strike will have a negative effect on them, both academically, socially and everything. Uh, what will take us to come back is that we are not the problem. I must be frank with you, uh, Ghana Web, that we are not the problem. Now the problem is government. The student leadership has their also their leaders. The TAC has their leaders, their national leaders, who can also um, uh, let government uh, hear of these things and then plead with government. For we are not the problem at all. We've withdrawn all services. And that is why the kitchen staff have also withdrew all their services. So as I'm speaking to you now, the students are not fed. They are not fed because the kitchen staff are censored uh, members and they have to also, uh, government have to make sure that the necessary things are put in place. Strike action taken by our teachers has affected us and it is still on us here. Um, beginning when they went on the strike, the first day we grouped in various classes helping ourselves. But the next day, uh, when you go around, you never see anybody um, in the class. The class was empty. And this strike action is taking, we were supposed to even spend four months as a semester. But because of the double track system, it has cut to three months, and teachers are going on strike again. I think this will affect us academically, and our purpose for being here is academics. Um, concerning the food aspect, our foods, those who are cooking the food for us, they have not been coming. And then this has affected us. Because of that, we can't even sit and learn. I think this is really going to affect us because we are not done with our handouts. And then when you come to the food, all the uh, those who are cooking to are not there. If there is no food, how can we learn? So this strike is really disturbing us. There's no food for us. We have to buy in the morning, in the afternoon, and then in the evening. It's really disturbing. And then our colleagues, those who are in the house, they cannot learn. Because if you're in the house, how can you learn? Very soon you're about to write our programs. So I think the government should do something about like it. She provide the teachers their needs so that they can come and then help us. Today's new teachers will come to And in fact, God willing, next, next two weeks, uh, we are all to write examination. But because teachers are not on campus to teach students, students are rather uh, finding their own ways and means to understand certain things in the course of life, which is in fact affecting us. So we plead, we plead to the government that in fact things should be turned around. They should go back to the table and then do whatever the teachers are expecting from them so that they can come back to help students. Indeed, our teachers are on strike and it has affected we the students negatively. This is because from last week that they went on strike, we've not been attending lectures and coming 28th of this month of November, We've not been going for lectures and for that matter we are starting our end of semester examination on this day. So we are pleading on the government to support these teachers with whatever they are asking from you so that they can help us in our lectures to succeed in our upcoming examination. There is a strike on campus which is affecting our students. Yeah, because the lecturers have will not be coming to class. That's from Monday to till today. And even the non-teaching staffs who have been cooking for us at the dining hall, it's not even cooking for us. And we know how the economy is so hard. We are asked to feed ourselves just two days. I've spent about hundred sodas. Our student body, we are facing a lot of challenges, and it has been a headache for we the student body, uh, as the tutors have withdrawn. All, all their services. And they are not teaching and the non-teaching staff, they are not also cooking for us, the laborers are not working. In fact, we are going through a lot. And because of that, students were to write their quizzes, which they called off. Classrooms are empty. Kitchen doors have been locked. At least there's no hope in sight for now. The only hope left is for the government and the striking bodies to come together and find a lasting solution to the strike. From the Tibu College of Education, I'm Abajado Frank, Ghana Web.